hello guys welcome to another class on ben crazy it's been two weeks we haven't dropped a video that is because i've not been strong however i am back now this particular tutorial is something i would have done outside the camera but i feel i need to show you guys how it's done this is a simple solution to this complex problem but a lot of people do not know it however a client of mine called me and said um benko this particular sensory generator i got some time ago has issues if you don't know we sell generators and of course we give response to everybody that buys generators from us he said this generator when i put it on it doesn't power my load any longer sometimes the sensor starts blinking the overload sensor starts blinking and i can't power my load even if i try powering just a bulb I knew the solution to this problem, but of course it doesn't know. Okay, and I believe a lot of guys here still doesn't know. So on today's class, we'll be looking at the generator and then we'll be providing solution to the generator. It's a simple problem, but a little bit complex because a lot of persons don't know. They may even know the problem and the solution, but they can't fix it. So if you stole me from now till the end of the class, you should be able to provide solutions for your machine and even for client's machine if you want to go into uh, repairs as well it's already around we should put this on and then it vibrates see how the vehicle vibrates What did you notice? I believe what you notice there is vibration. And that is not how this generator works at all. This generator, when it works, the sound is smooth and everything. So this generator vibrates. And let me check again if it brought out this overload light. Please take cognizance of it, because that's one of the one of the issues he complained about. He said sometimes it brings out the overload light. So let's see if it's going to happen right now. The generator went off. The generator went off. Okay, it brought out the light just now. Yes, I saw it. So it brought out the light just now. In fact, it went off. So it cannot use the generator. All right. So what do we do now? When you have a generator like this, I would liken it to someone who cannot breathe and struggles with breathing when a human struggles with breathing it's just a matter of time before the person dies except the treatment right so that is what this generator is going through it's struggling with breathing it cannot breathe properly so we can use that as a scenario we can also say it's struggling to pass that waste it cannot pass that waste properly if a human can't pass that waste right you have to treat the person so the person can use the anus or whatever it is to pass that waste. Right now, this generator cannot pass that waste through this, okay, through the exhaust. But here is the thing. Um, I have told him, clean up this place. He did clean it up and still there was no positive change. So what I'll be doing now, I'll be losing the generator and taking the exhaust out. Yes, I will take the exhaust out. But if I take the exhaust out, will it work? Time will tell. After getting access to the exhaust, gently take out the two main components from the exhaust outlet. The two main components from this exhaust outlet are nets, by the way. Um, you, you are going to see it in no time. Looking at it, you realize that the nets are clogged by soot. As carbon, as smoke comes out of the exhaust, 
it solidifies when it solidifies it becomes smooth it becomes soot and these suits are bad for the head of the generator it will stop the generator from breathing properly now that we've taken this part of the exhaust out let's kick start the generator right so let's kick start and see how the sound will look like all right all right Can you see how smooth it is now? Alright guys, can you see how smooth the running of the generator is now? This is how it's supposed to be. Okay, let's put it back and see what the sound will look like. Well, I've actually cleaned this place, so the sound will be way better. Okay, it will be way better now because carbon, some bits of carbon have left. Okay, some bits of carbon has left. It still shakes a little, but it's way, way, way better than it was before we took this out. So what are we going to be doing now? We will we'll wash this up. Okay, originally I said I was going to lose this exhaust, right? Yes, that was because I felt, because I told the client, of course, to clean this place. And I felt he has cleaned it up. And then the exhaust is now the issue. So subsequently in other videos, there will be videos, obviously. There will be videos. Because what we do at Benko is, even if we sell generators, our clients, provided you are close to us or you have a means to send the generator over, you can send the generator over and we will service it for you. And that is one of those things we give um, as bonuses to clients who get from us. Okay, so clients will definitely come. I, Benko, I have issues with my generator. Then at that point, if it's related to exhaust, we'll take out the exhaust. And teach you how to clean because it's very complex. Cleaning the exhaust is very complex. I'm not gonna lie, it's the most complex part of this generator as of this exhaust assembly. It's very complex. We'll teach you guys how to clean it. So that's one of the reasons you, of course, you should subscribe to this channel because a lot of teachings you won't find any other place will be found there. So we'll teach you guys how to clean it when we have generators with issues beyond this. Now this issue is basic. Uh, just wash this and clean the exhaust with a long screwdriver should be fine just clean the exhaust a little start and blow it out so guys we'll watch this fix it back then we'll kick start the generator and you guys will see how well it now works okay we'll just have to put this in well and leave it for some few minutes so let's say five minutes right so that all the carbon will come out and then what I'm doing guys okay the aim is to um, free the filter okay that's the aim take off the carbon from the filter so when um, the, so the generator basically can can do it okay okay this is clean enough Stark difference from what it was before, right? Doing this should be over in, in five minutes. Oh, Mm-hmm. 
all right it's better now okay see the length is better all right so we've basically cleaned these boots sharp and very sharp okay one thing to do now again is to just use this screwdriver to touch the so that all carbon by the side of the exhaust will come out okay this is just something you must do you must do it okay when you kick start so all the carbon find their beer and find their way out okay all right that said fix this back so in less than five minutes we've been able to clean this right we fix this back we fix this back as well okay that's good so up next all right well done with this generator guys let's just get start again so that you see the before sound and then how the before sound differs from this particular sound okay let's go See how calm and how good it looks. This is what the clients want, and I know the clients will be very, very, very happy to see his generator again. It's been six months this client got the generator from us, and I think this is the first time we are handling something like this because inside looks so, 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 so beautiful. Even with cowboys, that's to tell you, <laughs> it has not been opened. Alright, so if you need a generator like this from us, or the Maxi equivalent of it, you do well to reach out to the WhatsApp number on your screen. Beyond generators, inverter generators, repairs of generators, and what have you, we are dealers in solar energy system. We install, we have affiliation with big brands here, we sell their products, and what have you. Okay, guys? So we'll meet in our next class. It's goodbye from us. Stay safe, stay healthy. Yeah.